Hey everybody, it's Josh Inspires. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server with plugins. So, all you want to do is you want to go to getbucket.org. All links that I use will be in the description. And you want to download this uh, bucket 1.16.3 or spigot. There's really not much difference here. I'm going to go with bucket. And this is for the latest version. Uh, you can always find uh, older versions of Minecraft by going to the downloads here, up here in the top right. But yeah, so you want to click on this craft bucket 1.16.3.jar. So then you want to hit keep. And so now we have our jar file. So you want to take this jar file, you want to drag it onto your desktop, and then you want to right click on your desktop, go to new, create a folder, name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this craft bucket server. Well, I guess I named it craft buckety. Then you want to drag your craft bucket.jar into there. Open the folder, and uh, as you can see, you now have your craft bucket. Uh, as you can see, this is an executable executable jar file, so that means you want to open it with Java. So if you're not opening it with Java, make sure that you right-click, go to Open With, and click on Java. Uh, and and to, if it, this is not here, go to Choose Another App, and it'll open up this. It should have... If you click on more apps, it should have Java in here as something you should open it with. Now, the thing is, is if you don't have Java installed, then what you want to do is you want to go to java.com and get the Windows 64-bit. This will also be in the description, and you can download Java for free to open this. And don't worry, it's free, it's safe, it's all good. This is just Java to open it. So then, uh, if you've done all that, you want to just double-click on this and it should open with Java. There we go, so after a minute, it will take a minute for everything to load as it did for me. But you'll get this logs folder, this EULA folder, and this server properties file. So what you wanna do is you wanna double click on EULA. And if it doesn't open in Notepad for you, all you wanna do is you wanna right click, go to open with, and then hit Notepad, and it should open up like this for you. And you'll see all this. All you want to do is go to this EULA equals false. Change this false to true. And then you can exit and save. And you want to go back to your folder. And then you want to click on craft bucket again. Just double click it. And wait a minute for everything to start loading. As you can see, it is now starting to create a world file. It is opening up the Minecraft server console. And it is preparing the world. So we can just let it prepare the spawn a uh, area. So there we go. It's just preparing, generating the world. And there we go. It's going to do it twice. Uh, I'm not really sure why it does that, but it does do that. Uh, don't fret about that. But here we go. So now, OK, well, now it's doing it three times. OK, well, I did it three times. OK, now it has prepared the world, so we're good. So we can actually just go into this little uh, chat thing, type stop. It will save the server and stop it. And as you can see, it has created all of these files. So uh, what you want to do is you want to look at this plugins folder. Because I'm assuming if you're watching this that you want to create a server with plugins. So let's say that you've done all this and you're up to it uh, up to this point. And just for refresher, make sure that you double click this. The right clicking and open with is just to make sure that it opens this type of file with Java. But you want to make sure that you double click this to open it and get the EULA file and then change that to true and then get all these other files. So now we have this plugins folder and if you go into it, there's nothing in there because we haven't added any plugins yet. So we want to download some plugins. Now you can just Google search for any plugins. Uh, it really doesn't matter. So I found just this random uh, free RPG. Uh, plugin. Apparently it's for 1.16.3. So uh, here's what it looks like. Uh, just this page. This is where most of your pages will look like. It has like uh, examples of it. So all you want to do is click this download now and it will bring you to a website where you can download this. Oh well it just downloads it for you. You want to hit keep and it is a free RPG dot jar. So you don't want to open this one but you want to go back to your server folder you want to double click on plugins to open the folder. You want to go to freerpg.jar or the plugin that you have and you want to drag it into the plugins folder. And now that's it. Your plugin is now on your server. So uh, really that's about it. And the way you can make sure that it works is by opening your server and letting the console open. 
So there we go. Uh, as you can see, and when after it prepares the spawn area, it will show you uh, like enabling the plugin. Apparently, it has failed to register events. I have no idea what that means, but we can test it out to see if this works. So what you want to do is you want to go to your Minecraft. Apparently, the Minecraft launcher needs to update, so I will be back when I'm in Minecraft. So I am in Minecraft, and to connect uh, to my server or for you to connect to your server, you want to go to multiplayer, you want to hit direct connection, and you want to type in local host. And then you just want to hit join server. And this will connect you directly to your server. Okay, as you can see, uh, the server is running, so we're good on that front. So now you just want to go into your chat box, you want to type in plugins slash plugins and as you can see free R uh, rpg does load it'll show you all the plugins that are currently running and enabled on the server free rpg uh, shows up on the server so that's how we know this plugin is working and i'm actually going to test out the plugin so here i am back in the minecraft server console so i'm going to op myself which all you want to do is go to your minecraft server console type op then type your username. So for me, it's Josh Inspire. So now I'm a server operator. And I'm going to go back to the plugins page. So I'm going to go back to this, hit the back button to go back, and it'll tell me how to use it. So there we go. To get started uh, playing, type slash FRPG. Uh, there we go. So I just need to go to Minecraft. So here I am back in Minecraft. And I just need to type in slash FRPG. And if I hit enter, it brings up this uh, uh, UI for me to look through. Yeah, so the plugin is working 100%. I can click on this, I assume, and yep, it brings me to skill tree with RPGs and stuff. And yeah, so uh, yeah, so we know the plugin works. So after that, we can actually leave for the moment. Actually, we can go back to the server, and to stop the server from the inside, since I am an op, I can just type slash stop, hit stop, the server will close. And for the time being, we can go back to the desktop. Okay, so here we are back in the server folder. Now, we want to get other people to join the server. Now, how do we do that? Well, we're going to need a program called Hamachi. We will not be doing any port forwarding because at the moment I am unable to do that. So I will show you my method. What you want to do is go to this website. Again, all links to everything I'm using in the video will be in the description below. So you can follow along you need to get this thing called Log Me and Hamachi. It is a program, and you just want to hit download now. It's on VPN.net. It allows people to connect to you and then connect to your Minecraft server. So I already have this installed, and you can check my other videos to see I use the same method. So it's, it's really simple, I promise. <laughs> you just download it. It will ask you to sign up. You can do it on this website. You can just go up in the top right. You can sign in up here. It doesn't matter. You just need to sign up for an account. It, it, it's a free, free program. You don't have to buy anything. It's just this. So once you download it, it will be in your bottom right hand thing, assuming that it's not like openly open on the desktop. Uh, so here's Hamachi. It says ready. You can just double click on that to open it. And you'll. And for me, I have servers in here. Uh, you don't have to worry about these. But for you, assuming you'll have nothing here and it'll tell you that you can join a server or create a server. And if you're creating the Minecraft server, what you want to do is you want to go up here, you want to click on network, you want to hit create a new network. You can literally name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it whatever you want. And then you just set a password. It doesn't matter what the password is. This is just the password that you will give to your friends to join. Uh, apparently someone already has the name, what do you want? So I will just name it whatever you want, J-I. So then hit create and now you have this server here. So what you want to do is um, now you want to have your friends join your Hamachi server. So if they want to play Minecraft with you on your server, they do have to download Hamachi. And what they will do is once they are in Hamachi, instead of creating a network, they will go up to network and they will hit join an existing network. And then they will type in the Hamachi ID, the network ID. So for me, if I wanted my friends to join, I would tell them to join whatever you want, J-I. And it has to be, it's case sensitive, so if you type capital letters, they also have to type capital letters. You can use spaces and such, but they also have to put the spaces. And then they would also have to put in the password. So you set the password, you know the password. Only give the password to people you want on your server, that way other people can't join. So I know the password. Um, 
it doesn't matter because I'm already a part of this network because even if I try to join it right now, it's not going to let me join the network because I own the network. But my friends would be able to join and they, they would be inside this Hamachi server, which means that they now have a connection to me. They have now have a direct connection to me, which means that if I open up a server, they would be able to join the server because they are connected to me. So once you've done your Hamachi, that's pretty simple you're pretty much golden. So now we want to allocate more RAM to the Minecraft server so your server can allow more people and more com like more uh, plugins to be running at the same time. So we've done this a million times. It's really simple. All you want to do is you want to get a specific command. I will have the command in the description. I will also have a link to where you can get it. So really, I should have had this tab open, but you want to go to the Minecraft server download and you don't want to download the server, but there's this command right here that you want to copy. So you want to copy that. You want to just highlight it, uh, right click, copy it. You want to go back to your server so we can actually close the, uh, minimize that. And you want to go back to your server folder and what you want to do is you want to right click anywhere and you want to go to new and you want to create a new text document. So you'll have this new text document. You want to double click on this text document to open it. And now you want to paste this command. So just right click, paste. All right, after you've pasted the commands, now you want to do something to this command. You want to change this Minecraft server dot jar stuff. Go ahead and just delete it for the time being. And then after you've deleted it, you want to look at this craft bucket uh, file name. So what you want to do is you want to type in exactly what this jar server craft bucket name is right here where you deleted the uh, original. So you want to type in craft bucket dash 1.16.3 dot jar and then you want to give your server as much RAM as you want. So the more RAM uh, you give your server, the faster it'll run and the better it'll run. So I'm just going to go ahead and give my server 4 gigabytes of RAM or roughly 4 gigabytes by typing in 4000M. And 4000M is 4000 megabytes. That's roughly uh, 4 gigabytes, not exactly. But after that, you then, after you have your command in, you want to go to File, you want to hit Save As, and then you want to go down here to Save As Type. You want to click on this, change it to All Files, and then you want to name it Start.Bat, Start.Bat, and then you want to hit Save. Then you can close this note, uh, notepad, and you'll have this new Windows Batch file. And what you want to do is you just want to double click on that. And it will tell you all of this. It'll say, this build is outdated. Please download, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about this. It will still start your server. Just wait 20 seconds, and it will start your server. So the server is started. And now, uh, there we go. So this now is my Minecraft server console. So this has to be running for me to join my Minecraft server. And... Also, Hamachi has to be on for my friends to join. So, log me in Hamachi is not your Minecraft server. This right here is your Minecraft server. Both of these things have to be running for you, well, for your friends to join your Minecraft server. So, if you only have this open and not this open, then uh, no one will be able to join your server. So, as long as these, bo these two things are open and they are on and active, so now people can join. So, if we were go back to go back to Minecraft, let's say that the server is running, log me and Hamachi is running, you're on the server, and now you want your friend to join. So, you want to go to multiplayer, your friend wants to go to multiplayer, uh, go to direct connection, or add a server, it doesn't matter. They have to be in your Hamachi network, so they have to join your log me and Hamachi, and then what you want to do as the server owner is you want to right click, hit copy IPv4 address, and then you want to give that to your friend. And that is the IP address that your friend will use to join your Minecraft server. And I'll show you right here. So I'm using my IPv4, and I will be able to join my own server. As you can see, here we are. I am in the game on my own server. And as you can see, the RPG thing works because this thing is showing up this wood cutting or whatever 
And yeah, and I can tab. As you can see, I am on a server. I have good connection because no one else is on here, and I'm hosting the server. But yes, so that is it. That is how you make your Minecraft server with plugins and allow your friends to join. Uh, it's just that simple. Um, yeah, other than that, I really got nothing more for you, but if you're having any trouble, you can always join the Discord that is in the description and talk to me. I will be happy to help you out or comment down below. But if this helped you out, if you could drop a like and a sub, that would be extremely helpful. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, so if you guys could help me get there, it'd mean a, a lot to me. And yeah, I hope I see you all in the next video. Peace out.